there's a considerable lack of content on the Digma Defy at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd just share my impressions off the cuff. I really don't have a lot of time on my hands, so I'm just doing this uh, as a really quick, quick and dirty thing. But I have a few things that I feel needed to be said. Um, I was waiting for this for a year and a half. I was one of the original Kickstarter backers. It's a, uh, I mean, the keys are wonderful. The switches are great. I got the, I think they're Kale Browns. Um, yeah, those look like box browns or something. The silent, silent browns. They're very nice. Very, very nice feel. Um, but in terms of the hardware, the oh, palm pads again also feel amazing. They do slide off a bit more easily than I expected, but there is this rubber textured grip underneath that, that stops them from sliding around, but the magnets are not that powerful. I'm not too upset about that because I kind of not into the idea of having very strong magnets very close to my body. Um, and the tenting works really well. I've only done very minimal tent tenting so far, but it's um, very sturdy. Um, no complaints there thus far. Uh, I mean, these these flappy bits, like they've got a good amount of resistance. They don't flap around easily at all. The, the lighting's really nice. And generally, it feels quite quite solid in the hand. Build quality overall good. The major complaint I would have about the way the the build quality is the paint that is uh, along this edge here. So we've got that silver aluminium, just brushed aluminium here, and then they've kind of got a a layer painted around the side before it meets the plastic at the bottom. And this seems to come away incredibly easily. I do not know how that happened. My best guess is that I rubbed it against the MacBook um, while I was putting it alongside the laptop and it's just the paint's just scraped away like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, generally, build quality is great, keys feel great, very nice typing experience, very comfortable, very difficult to get used to. But that was to be expected from someone who's never used Ortholinear and who's never used a split keyboard before. Uh, I went from 13 words per minute on my first day to 20 words per minute on my second day. I have yet to check how I'm doing on my third day, but hopefully a nice improvement again. Um, yeah, uh, that that thing, by the way, with, with the paint has happened on both sides. Look at that, just phew, right off. It's like they painted it on with icing, cake icing or something, it just, Anyway, so the, the thing that I really wanted to talk about is the software. Because that has been, or the software and the firmware has just been a god-awful experience. Which I'm really, really disappointed by. So I had issues pairing it um, uh, initially. Some of the issues I was having were because I was I was plugging in things wrong, but this this is the neuron here. There's actually nothing. I mean, 
if you if you look at it long enough, you can kind of think, okay, well, this one this one should be the the one that goes to your computer, and then because these two are quite close together, um, they should be the the two halves of the keyboard, but it's very easy to get that wrong, and I could just as easily have thought that this one is meant to go to the computer. If you're plugging in just the neuron to, to do RF mode, it's very easy to plug this in the wrong way around, um, and then the RF just doesn't work, and then you're, you're left scratching your head. Um, that's something I feel they could have easily remedied by just putting some little markings on, on it, or something like that, or, or just having the shape make sense. The issues I, I had with connectivity with um, the setup were to do with the software, which uh, it crashed when I was doing a firmware update, and then when I tried to reconnect the keyboard, it kept saying, it, the keyboard kept coming up as no name and now, uh, so I, I had to go and get this special software that they use when it's coming out of the factory to flash the neuron and to flash both sides to get it working again. Um, and after I did that, it still didn't work, but when I connected it to another computer on a fresh install of Basecore, it worked there. So. Uh, now I'm in the situation where if I want to change anything on the keys with base core, I have to use that laptop because the base core on this laptop just will not, it just crashes every time I, I try to connect it to the Defy. By the way, I have tried installing, reinstalling uh, base core and I deleted the local files that I could find, but I'm fairly new to macOS, and um, the, I, I'm not 100% sure how to get all of the files off um, to, to completely reset it, and obviously whatever I'm doing is not working, because whenever I reinstall Bayes Core, the exact same problem occurs, even though the fresh install of base core on my M1 Mac, my work Mac, um, works just fine. So it's got to be something to do with the install. Um, I'm just not able to refresh it properly. I have contacted support about this, um, and we're kind of in the process of going through it. But it's not great, and uh, I just had another situation where I've been charging these plugged into the laptop, um, and then I unplug them, plug the neuron in underneath to connect Bluetooth, and Bluetooth just isn't connecting, and I had to go into the Bluetooth settings and my laptop, which, which had, has had no problems connecting to Bluetooth up until now, um, and I had to forget the device and then repair it for it to work again. Just so many things like that. Um, and, and when the base core software is running, when I was running into those bugs, I was getting uh, could not read properties of undefined, uh, could not m uh, read map could not map over whatever variable, um, or could not read uh, undefined variable. Things like that were coming up in the UI, and uh, I just can't help but feel that's, that's terrible um, software development. I mean, you should be Cat, you, you shouldn't be getting to a point where you're getting those errors. If you had proper type safety in place, then you just wouldn't get to a point where you have these cryptic errors. You could handle them more great, gracefully um, at the point 
where it actually matters. Base core software itself is pretty nice. I'm a bit annoyed by the fact that this key here, um, it, it's being the quote quotation mark and not the at symbol as it should be on a UK keyboard. On uh, so I've got my currently the at symbol is coming up here like it is does on a US keyboard, and. Um, it's it's flipped around like the US one whereas I have a, a UK layout here it's what I ordered I've set in base call for it to be UK well I've chosen language British I don't know if that just sets the UI language um, I can't see any settings anywhere else in base call I've I've double checked triple checked that on my operating system the keyboard is UK layout so I don't know what's going on there I can only assume after all the issues I've had that this is a problem with base core. I'm hoping that over time this will be ironed out, but to release the product in uh, such a buggy state I think is a real pity. I've seen other commenters on the Discord saying that they feel the Rays, the Digma Rays, was of a, a much higher quality. Still really, really I'm looking forward to getting good with this and as I said it is very comfortable the keys are very nice and um, I do think it's going to improve my uh, typing and my workflow overall looping back to base core I do think it has uh, quite a lot of features the way that you set lighting the way that the interface all works is quite intuitive I've had a look at how the other companies do it, um, like with the Glove A.E. and with the um, Ergo, the one with the concave wells that costs like 700 pounds, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it just has the worst looking software I've ever seen. I'm sure it's very reliable, but you'd have to be a, a full on programmer to actually feel comfortable with it, from what I can tell. Um, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the Digma D5. Thank you for watching.